This game's a rehearsal for the forthcoming Scottish Cup tie between these teams later this month, but Cali will be hoping they don't start that game the way they did this one. A miscued header by Richard Hastings sets up Glenn Hurst on the right, and in comes Pat McGinley for his seventh goal of the season. An unforced error and a simple cross, and McGinley keeps his cool to beat Fridge in the Inverness goal. Gordon DL, if you're watching this at home, you'll want to close your eyes at this point. At least we can only assume that's what Marius Rodvey was doing when he spilled this mishit cross from David Souza. And you don't want to do that when Dennis Wyness is around. Unhappy viewing for all you Air fans, and Rodvey in particular. No more chances in the first half then, but Cali carved out this one just after the break. A clever turn by David Zosa fooled not only Michael Rennock, but also his own forwards. No takers for this chance in front of an open goal. Another cross in, but Cornelius Duffy, or Neil to his teammates, opts for safety first. Glenn Hurst's been a magnet for bigger clubs this season, particularly in England, but it wasn't to be his day. So from few chances to the proverbial barrel load. Sub Barry Robson looked to make a quick impression, but so near, yet so far. Ayr were next to threaten. Reynolds supplied Anne in the ammunition, but no one there for Ayr to pull the trigger. A good chance scorned by the United forwards. Both sides continued to seek a winner. Huss picked up the ball and tried his best, taking on the Cali defence but he saw his shot well blocked. Get your money now on Cali. They're the pool specialists. That's their fourth draw on the trot. We're now nine points off the league. Um, we have a lot of work to be done here still. Um, there's one or two wee things that we're not happy with, and uh, we'll be working on that. But um, the last three results, we've picked seven out of nine, as I said earlier, and that's something to build on. And um, I was delighted with the the um, effort of young Neil Scarlett who come off the bench today and I thought he was excellent so there's a, there's a few pluses in there as well. You know, here are you know, genuine championship contenders um, and we've come down here and you know, worked really hard and, and at the end of the day, you know, I think we deserve our point in the way we defended, uh, particularly in the second half when we came under a lot of pressure. I think last year we had um, a few good results against them. This year they seem to be a bogey team for us. But you've got to hand it to Steve Patterson and his, his team because he's got very good players and I think they'll be a match for anybody. Um, but that's two home games and a 3-3 and a 1-1. So um, we're looking forward to getting up there. It's the Scottish Cup and we've been to the semi-final before. So I'm sure that Stevie and myself know it's a completely different ballgame.